Today's the day I am going to go through every single item of clothing I wear and declutter. We're gonna do it right. I'm pulling everything out of their homes and out of my closet. And I'm going to pick up every single piece of clothing I own and decide if I really wanna keep it or if it would be better in another home. Before we jump into it, make sure you subscribe and like this video because I will be taking you along on the full process. So definitely join me if you would like to declutter your home too. So let's go into my closet. Here's what we're working with. Here is where I keep all of my hanging clothes. I have my sweaters here, clothes over here. Above, I do have shoes, but we're going to tackle that another day. I also have this laundry basket filled with clean clothes, and I honestly barely have room for that clothes, so that's how I know it's time to declutter. I'm actually kind of sad to take all of this clothes out because I actually have a pretty good folding system going. So here's my workout clothes. This one definitely needs work, but this is where I keep my t-shirts and some sweatshirts. Here are sweatshirts. And then jeans and jean shorts are down here. Okay, so this corner, this is my guilty corner. This is all clothes that I've set aside because it's like on the brink of getting rid of, but I don't fully know if I wanna get rid of it yet. So this is the section that I really am going to do damage and either decide if I'm going to start wearing the clothes or it's time to get rid of it. My best friend gave me this cup for my birthday. It says physically here, mentally with my dog. Today I am physically and mentally with my dog, but I have an energy drink in here. We are getting fueled up. Let's pull everything out. <sighs> so yeah, there was a reason I've been putting this off. I recognize that one person should not own this amount of clothing. I definitely blame part of it for having a really big closet because I feel like the more space you have, the more space you fill. And because I had room to just put something aside without actually getting rid of it, I just put it off. Okay, so now let's dive into it. I have three piles on the floor here. One is to go straight to the thrift store. One is to list on Poshmark and then one is to go to Plato's closet. So the difference between those two is the clothing has to be in really, really good condition for me to try to sell it. And like cheaper more affordable brands I'll probably take my chance at Plato's Closet but then the more expensive brands I might list on Poshmark. I will list my Poshmark down below. Please make me an offer. Anything that's listed on there I want to get rid of. If you are interested definitely make me an offer. I'm also going to set aside anything I want to try on. Okay. So I am definitely someone who has gotten rid of something and regretted it, which makes it so hard for me to actually get rid of things, but I haven't touched any of these items the whole time they've been in my closet. So all the stuff that I put in the corner of my closet, I'm pretty much going to be good to go on all of these items because I set them aside for a reason. I have not been wearing them. This is the sweater I wore when I did this last time. It has been definitely over a year. Do you guys hold on to evening dresses like I do? Like the kind of dresses that you wear to a nicer wedding? Like I don't necessarily want to wear the dress again, but maybe. What do you do with that? Do you sell it? So this is a perfect example of something I put in Plato's closet. It's an express bodysuit. I really like it, but it's too small for me. So express is not like that expensive of a brand. So I'm putting that in Plato's closet. So I'm just throwing items on the floor into these piles. I'm actually doing a really good job here. <laughs> you can't see all the piles quite yet, but you'll see them in a bit. I am pulling out a lot of items to give away this time. I am trying to be strict with myself and I will go over some things that are going on in my head as I'm making these decisions. Tops like this, I always have a hard time with because what if I need a turtleneck under my sweater or something? Like what if I go somewhere cold? but I literally never wear this. I think I'm gonna put in like my winter gear. This bodysuit does not have buttons, so it has to go. So something that is a barrier to getting rid of things is I still have a few occasions like bachelorettes and themed parties where I need really specific things in my closet. So that is what's preventing me from getting rid of a lot of items. But as I'm picking up each item, I really ask myself, what occasion would I wear this? And if that occasion were to come up, would I actually choose this to wear? Like what if I have a theme where it's disco night, but it is in a really hot climate, so I can't wear jeans and I need to be comfortable because I am over 30 now and comfort is key. There's just so many things to think about. I feel like so many of these things, I'm like ready to let go now. It's a really good feeling. Like all the things I just put in the corner of my closet. 
Here I have all my running shorts and I actually like keeping all my running shorts even though I do have quite a few because they're so easy to throw on, especially in the summertime. My favorite are the ones from Halara. This is an Amazon workout set. I will link it if you wanna see what it looks like. I would say it is very flattering, but it is very uncomfortable. So I never pick it up to work out in. So let's get rid of it. I got this set from Fabletics and I never ever, like the tag is literally still on the pants. I've worn the sports bra before as kind of a top but I've never worn it. I've owned it for so long. Maybe I'll try it on. So I loved this sweater for a while. I really love the colors of it. I feel like it's so unique. It's from Target. The thing is it's not very comfortable, so I would never reach for it. The fabric is like a teeny bit itchy, but I don't know why I'm like still on the fence about this one. I feel like getting rid of clothes is so much easier when it's like obviously too small. Cause it's like, I'm not gonna wear it for sure because it's too tight. But when it's not, it's so much more difficult for me. I loved this top when I would wear it. Oh, it's from Nordstrom. I just love it. I think it's so cute. I might try it on. Here's another bodysuit that doesn't have the snaps, but it's so stretchy. So I might still try this on actually. This is a prime reason of why I am decluttering all of my stuff. I completely forgot that I had these Lululemon Align biker shorts. And here's the thing about these. They're like awkwardly too long. So I never reach for them because they like go to here. But did you know that if you take these into Lululemon, they will hem them for free? So I might hem them just a little bit shorter, but I actually have to go do that because these were at the bottom of my closet. I love the squirts from Halara too. They're so good. So those are my favorite. Those are staying. I have so many Lulu's dresses that I'm ready to part with because I love dresses from Lulu's and they're really affordable. So I might try them at Cleto's closet. I loved this little jumpsuit, but I think it was too small, which is why it's in my maybe pile. Okay, I'm on the fence about this white dress because I wore it when I was engaged and there are so few times to wear white dresses now. But like, what if I do need to wear a white dress? I still liked it. This one's going in the maybe. Also love this dress, but it was really low cut. This is my favorite sweatsuit. It is from the Sophie brand. I'll link it, it's from Amazon. I feel like I'm making good progress, but the pile seems to be barely getting smaller. Here's an Amazon workout top that I am going to part with because it is a little too small. Look, Gary is over me. You know the pile that's really getting bigger is my try-on pile. I feel like there's so many things I just cannot commit to getting rid of. This sports bra might be the oldest piece of clothing in my closet. I've had this since high school, but it still fits. Here's a lounge set I completely forgot about, so I'm glad I found this. Okay, hopefully I can start putting things back in my closet because now we're getting to the part of my clothing where I actually wear all the time and I really love. Here's my second wedding dress. Like, what do I do with this? Should I pack it up? Should I sell it? And here's the dress I wore to my rehearsal dinner, which I love from Amazon. I'll link everything I mentioned. And then here's a Halara dress that I love. Okay, so here's a classic item where I'm like, should I get rid of this? I didn't wear it all season, but like, I like it. I bought this from the Goodwill Boutique. Let me try it on. Sometimes I forget what I have. This used to be one of my favorite sweaters, but I just really do not reach for it. I would probably wear other things over this. Oh my gosh, okay, this dress I was going to wear to rehearsal dinner, and then I last minute found another dress that I liked more. It's from Lulu's. I wore it in my first like wedding dress haul. I'm going to put this on Poshmark. If any future brides out there are interested in buying this dress, I will post it because I feel like it is pretty bridal. I feel like I'm not gonna wear it to something else. And then here's like my getting ready stuff for bridal too. I really gotta figure out what to do with these bridal items. Love these tank tops from Target. They are a staple. Here's another sports bra I've had for just too long, so I am going to donate this. As I get older though, something that has made it easier to get rid of the items is I just don't like wearing clothes that I don't feel great in. And I feel like I'm at that point where I've built up my collection where I just don't have to do that. Here's another nice wedding item that I love, but I don't think I'm gonna wear again. So what does one do with old bridesmaid dresses? I mean, I'm just gonna keep it, but what do you do? I have all my work clothes. This is basically all try on at this point because I have to go back to the office. I'm very sad about it. So 95% of the clothes I've been holding on to since 2020 to go back to the office, they do not fit anymore. It's a little bit sad, but it's okay. It's been almost four years, so it completely makes sense. But yeah, I had to get all new work clothes. We are still going. Some of these items I just am so unsure about, so I need to put them aside for now. They might honestly all go into the try-on. So I've been hard at work. Oh, jeez. 
this is all stuff I'm not fully sure about if I'm trying to be super super picky I was going through my dresses and honestly a lot of my dresses I feel like I need to try on I cannot confidently keep them so I'm going to do a quick overview and then we're gonna go through our massive pile to try on and see if that helps make some final decisions but let's go ahead and put away everything that I'm sure about Okay, so here is the pile of stuff I'm still not sure about. I think I'm gonna try on every single thing in this pile. This pile, hi Gary. This pile is Plato's Closet, feeling really good about that. This pile, which is basically the same pile, but I know where everything goes. Oh, he has to have his moment. That is try on. That bag is giveaway. And then we have Poshmark in there too, in between. Here, I folded all the clothes that need to just go back into the closet. So we have my sweatshirts, sweaters. This is all stuff that I have to do something about. Over here we have shorts, joggers, jeans, lounge pants, and all of my workout clothes, along with more matching sets for lounge clothes. So let's put all of these back in the drawers so we have a little bit more space to work with. And then I'll hang up everything that I want to try on. So I'm actually impressed that I tried on my ginormous pile that I set aside and I'm really glad that I tried on all these items. Some items surprised me, some I really liked and loved the way they fit, some were an immediate no. So that helped to make my decision a lot quicker to really see if it still fit me. So very happy about that. And I have my little buddy here, of course, who had to be in the shot. And here he is, had to leave this in here because he is just having a battle with his tail. If you have a golden retriever, you know they're so silly and goofy. And yeah, his tail is his favorite toy, which is great. I am coming to the finish line, feeling good. This is only a snippet of the giant pile that I even set aside to try on. So yeah, it was exhausting. The sun was going down. But I am pretty happy with my decisions and I was able to get rid of a lot of items after trying them on. Some were too short as you can see here and some I just was realistic with myself. I'm just not going to wear that or reach for it. And as you can see, Gary has tuckered himself out. Okay, we are done. Feels so good. Let me clean up quickly and I will show you the results. Here is the final pile for Plato's Closet. There is a ton of stuff. Obviously it did not just fit in the bag, but I'm gonna have to find more bags to put everything in. And just whatever they don't take, I will give to the thrift store. And then here's everything I'm going to list on Poshmark. They are brands that are typically higher in demand, like Princess Polly, some nicer work brands, Levi's, Free People, those kind of brands. So I would absolutely say today was a success. I definitely am ready to get rid of more than I expected. All of these donations are going straight to my car because I am pretty notorious for just holding on to them. So I am going to take them this week. They are not going back in my closet. Thank you so much for watching this declutter. I hope that you were able to declutter with me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.